Good morning, guys. Tommy B here in NC. Um, as a lot of you know, I've got a YouTube channel, and my group is USA Blade 350QX Owners Group on Facebook. Um, a lot of you know, of course, I've done the Raycon Healy conversion just recently. Done several um, review YouTube videos and uh, tutorials. Um, I've come to notice a lot of you guys that are doing this are starting to have some questions and concerns with the GPS module. I'm going to give you all some of uh, my knowledge that I've accumulated over the past couple years with the 350QX. Okay, this is your GPS module uncovered. Right there is a barometer sensor. It has a little hole in it that needs to get air. Right here is a little indicator light. It flashes steady blue whenever it has acquired satellites. Um, prior to the GUI, this is how you told that uh, if you had GPS module failure because that light would go intermittent or not blink at all. When it is working correctly, that is supposed to be a steady blue flash. When you're doing the Raycon conversion and you go to uh, mount or placement of your GPS module, um, you know, you, you, you can probably take it out of the, uh, the original body and not do anything to it. Um, you know, some people are wanting to uncover them and things of that sort, but, uh, or, or even wrap them up better. You don't have to do that. Uh, you know, one thing, this piece of foam right here is laid over that sensor and then hence it's wrapped with the copper and the end is left open so it can get air now you know one idea you can do you can you can wrap it up a little tighter but you, you're gonna have to cut you a hole right above that sensor you know of course not too deep uh, in order to let this to the sensor vent and get air um, the the placement of the module is really really not that crucial because in some of my um, testing and experimenting, the module is not where it's picking up the RFI interference from the camera to start with. It's actually catching it at the antenna. And then hence that's the reason Blade mounted the antenna on top of a mast. Um, one thing that we have going for us on a carbon fiber frame is the carbon itself acts as a shielding. So, um, of course, what I did in my Raycon videos, I mounted my antenna closer to the rear. My module is up front here, like so, and hence that took it back away from camera. I also put a piece of copper, just I'm overkill, I put a piece of copper tape on the floorboard underneath this and then mounted my hardware on top of that. Um, so far, I've had good service out of it, no issues, uh, get GPS relatively quick. Um, I want to say you probably would get GPS faster lock uh, using the mass technique. I myself, I really don't care for the little rinky-dink plastic mass that Blade you know, gives you on the original body. Um, this was another option that I may have done, um, mounted the antenna on a mast like original um, you can and you know I, I know what it is you guys are, are running into you're mounting this module here on top and you got that piece of copper tape looking you in the face and you know you got the, the sleek looking design of the body and the frame of the Raycon and just ain't all hip now you two things here you can have you a 3d cover made and cover that module up Matter of fact, this case right here I got from Ready to Fly Quads would be excellent to mount that module in and then hence double side tape, stick it to the top of the plate frame there. Or 
you can take and mount that underneath this and double side tape it like that to the underside of there so it's covered um one thing that uh back two year ago uh i was having some uh my my 350 is a version two um version two firmware version one motherboard version two firmware updated when i was having issues and it was trying to do the flyaway syndrome if you look back in my youtube videos um I think one of them I had was a Father's Day video and it was trying to fly off like it had a mind of its own. What I came to find out was happening is the way the module was mounted in the original 350QX body, um, the body pushing down on top of it was actually causing that copper tape to contact, you know, hit contacts on top of that board. And I felt like it didn't need to be doing that. Um, actually Horizon Hobby's suggestion is is when you recover or you cover this right here one of course is to leave it vented open to get air to the barometer sensor but you're supposed to put uh, I think it's called Kapton tape in between the uh, the copper and the surface of the board now I myself I couldn't really find any Kapton tape or, or, or something of that name um, I actually used a piece of plastic uh, thin plastic I laid a layer on top of it of course cut my hole above my um, sensor and then I put the piece of foam well actually foam plastic tape and then copper covering back over it and of course note leaving the end hole open or cutting it open above the sensor um, some people said, oh, well, why don't I just leave it open? It can't get too much air. It won't work right either. Um, I've had guys try that too. Um, just trying to give you guys some suggestions and helpful hints um, at your own uh, at your own risk to do any of the suggestions. You know, I'm not taking any responsibility you know, for that. Um, I can, you know, let you know my solutions and remedies have worked. Um, I've yet to have a problem. Uh, I've got uh, several videos prior to the Raycon frame conversion that discuss uh, the GPS module board in particular. And uh, some of you guys may want to go back and look through some of my videos. If you guys have any questions or need any help, um, message me or uh, hit me up on my group uh, USA Blade 350QX Owners Group I'm also a member of the World 350 Group and of course the Raycon Group and of course several others um, just want to give you guys some ideas about this it seems like a lot of people are questioning you know what to do and how to go about this and there's you some ideas of what you need to watch out for Burn up the skies.